Ah, Leute, wir kommen zurück bei Tales of From the Borderlands mit mir, dem Maru. Episode 1, see you some. Wir sind im House of Curiosities und haben in der letzten Folge mit unserem loader freund den wir übrigens erlaubt haben, zu abzuhauen, in der Haufen von diesen dummen Banditen platt gemacht. Und sind gerade dabei, ein bisschen von Pandoras Geschichte zu erleben. Hier sind wir bei Steel. The brain of Commandant Steel. Military grade carbon nanotube polymer brain still includes augmentation by INEC. Und ein kleines Loch im Körper. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Nein. Na gucken wir uns auf jeden Fall das an hier. Äh. Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. <laughs> hmm, look around for the key. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Shade, not the least bit insane. How are you? Not great! Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> uh, what? What? Who are you? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade. And this is my world of curiosity. Let me tell you right off the very bat. I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> But unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. Name dropping. Funktioniert immer. Warum habe ich den Schrank da nicht aufgemacht? My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I assume you'd have that kind of scratches walk around money. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. August, it's the guy with the key. And die schöne Frau. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? <sighs> Reese. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Mm. 
Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. Do you ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so... The way I, uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done! I get intuitions about this stuff. Is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking out. She does that sometimes. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all... Oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Dang. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe Aww. today's not right for this. If, <laughs> if, if things are weird... If you ha have a feeling about things... Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just... No, I'm... I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I... I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No. I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest, this is your department. Do something! What? Ah, oh, decisions. Low is mine? Wake is hard. What's the hell? August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine. What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! What?
What a steaming load of scag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! See you in a con artist. Also you. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <coughs> Mission accomplished. <coughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. <laughs> you guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last... Oh, okay, I get it. <clears throat> this fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is... Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. Uh... I can't wait. The Vault Hunter showed up. It's mine! Get it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Ah, zero. Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. <laughs> we got it. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Felix, who has you into a life of crime? Be net. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. Don't. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. So have them keep their hands to themselves. Keep them from touching it? How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. But you'll think of something you always do. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains, okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. 
so it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Uh -huh. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Hit. Okay. Wir haben einen Bank Account quasi. Gehen wir mal dem Auto vorbei. In die Straßen. Guck mal diesen kranken Mann da an. Hi. You get it all out. I guess. Oh Gott, Loot Crate. Öffnen wir erstmal, gucken wir vorher. Was hier schön ist. Das ist unser Poster, ne? Dann gucken wir erstmal das Loot Crate an. Oh. Figures. Ja, das war zu erwarten irgendwie. Purple Skag Bar. Ah, Wahnsinn. Was erkennen wir sonst noch so? Best Rosen. Hm. A hollow point where art and culture flourish. Come on. What? All right, all right, enough of the stabbing. Piss off. Geld. Hmm. Sorry, girls gotta eat. Fiona is a ass. Let me also play. Also, kein Arsch, aber dass sie das Geld nimmt, ist klar. <lacht> kein Auto fahren kann, ist klar. Ouch. Hi, Tektor. Great. Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Hector Hudong. Greater violence, but at everything else. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for Wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. Well, that's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Sasha, kid sister, partner in crime. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. Huh, can't believe that worked. I can't either. Ja, lass mich nicht da hängen. <lacht> Hey, wie sieht's bekannt aus? Hm. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. 
He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me, and we met at Pyropedes just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August. You provide the key. August and I go make the deal. Then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? Mm, I told you. No. It's a lot, I know. Uh, no. You need to slow down, Sasha. You're talking a mile a minute. Ugh, you're killing me, Fiona. Okay, you are... <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus for me, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. It's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She uh, assures me you can be trusted. It's Livia, actually. Livia Strauss. Livia? Huh. I could have swore. No! No! Please! Please, August! Please, I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay. I'll pay. You are. <laughs> the little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. I'll bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Okay, und bevor wir zum Business kommen, sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis dahin habe ich bestimmt alle vergessen, was sie uns erzählt hat. Das heißt, es wird super Spaß. Und mal sehen, wie es weitergeht. Bis gleich. Tschüss.